drag and drop color. What's great about this is you can cover a lot of space really quickly and fill in areas that might take a little bit more time to fill in manually. So for example, if you click on the pellet up here in the top right, you can see we've got your colors. Let's pick some color we want, pick an orange. And what we can do is we can click on this icon here and drag that into the canvas like that. That fills the entire canvas in one go. We can also be a lot more precise. So if I just go to black ink, draw something like this, let's just draw a face really rough and change the color to yellow and then drag and drop it in to the first area. Now what happened there? This is a good opportunity to show a mistake that happens sometimes when you don't have the lines filled off. So what it did there is it actually filled everything because there was an empty space on our artwork. If you zoom in, you can see that two points aren't connecting there. So you got to imagine that your outline has to be fully filled in for this to work. So to undo, double tap. She went a bit further there, let me just go back. So what we want to do then is just make sure that our lines are actually closed off. So we'll go in, zoom in with our double fingers like this, and just close off the lines here. So that means the color can't escape out of the artwork. Same on the eyes. A bit of a line that needs to be closed there. This one looks okay and this one looks fine. Now this is obviously a very rough um, example but it gets the point across. So we'll go to the color again, make sure that we're on the layer of the artwork, go to our color, select whatever color you want to use and drag this time into the artwork and you see it fills it perfectly. It leaves the eyes and the mouth open then to be colored to whatever you wish. So you can change like that. This is great if you want to fill artwork completely in one go but you have to be aware that as you're filling the artwork you're filling into a layer with uh, black lines around it so you might need to uh, make adjustments or it might not be exactly how you want to construct this illustration so sometimes what i like to do is to make a copy of the ink uh, layer and just make sure that that is always available there if i if i make a mistake so if i reverse it back out what we want to do then is just make sure that we duplicate our layer by swiping left, press duplicate, and then we have that layer, we'll just hide it. So if we make any mistakes here, and further on we want to change, we can just go back and make sure that our ink layer above is ready to go.